Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this uh, video, I will be uh, looking at a few ways of making your charts a little more interesting. This is the default I get through Excel. And yes, it does show me all the information that I want to show, but uh, it could probably be a bit more interesting visually. So how do we do that? First of all, click on the series. So they're all selected. Right click, Format Data Series. The first one we'll be looking at is fill as a gradient fill. It's this at the moment is solid fill. Let's try gradient fill. So as you can see, it gives me a number of options that I can play with. And uh, as you'll see, this is basically, uh, you know, it's up to, to you whether you like it or not, but it's definitely a different way of uh, showing uh, the information. And you can change, you can choose preset colors if uh, you like those, or you can basically change, uh, select uh, your own colors. You can choose the directions that you want to show, the uh, gradient fill, uh, the type, it could be radial, linear, etc., etc. And you can add stops, change color, etc etc so there's a number of different options that are available to you to basically show the the information in a slightly different way so this is the gradient fill instead of your just your standard fill second let's look at how to include an image instead of the standard fill so to do this you just click on the series again right click you go to the format data series and you go to fill and this one you, you click on picture or texture fill. Now texture there are some already available like this so you can choose them or you can insert from file and here you can click on here and you upload an image that you have stored on your computer or you can choose clip art. For instance the one I was showing you earlier I found by going there type in dollar sign go and here it is. So I click OK and here it is. At the moment I have uh, chosen the option that is stack and scales with five units per picture. I can change that. Uh, if I put 10 it will update like that. Uh, let's go back back to change it with five. But basically this is what you can do to insert image. So if you got an image that makes sense in a certain context, you can use that to express your um, your numbers, your data more forcefully. Then you can add text to the um, to the chart. So what you need to do is to click into the chart and then go to insert. And here you have basically two main options. Use a text box. So you click on it and then you come back to the chart and you just click on this and start typing. Start typing away. Uh, result ever. Best result ever. So here you got your text box that you can then uh, basically change, format, etc. etc. The other thing is insert uh, very useful shapes. So again, this this uh, arrow here, for instance, I've chosen that, and just like that. Or and then again, you can format it or other shapes, um, and there's plenty, plenty of them there. So again, this is adding text and shapes to the chart to make it a bit more interesting and communicate better what you're trying to say. And the last one is basically instead of using your normal labels, just again insert by clicking into the um, the chart and insert a shape that maybe communicates what you're trying to say uh, a bit better. So for instance, um, let's say that that uh, value is year on year is steady. So you just want to put a symbol that tells you, okay, that has been stayed the same, that one has gone up in again showing additional information in a more uh, visually effective way. 